current statement is that you had no idea that this was uh, happening, that this was uh, something that this individual was doing while on the mod team? No, we had no idea. And when you say we, who specifically are you referring to? Me and the rest of the development team. Okay, so you can confidently speak for the rest of the development team. This was not something that was known. Yes. Okay. Yes, I can confidently speak for the entire team that no one, no one knew. Okay. Um, so, obviously, the, the major question that you then are going to be facing following that is, uh, this individual's work, can it easily be removed from the mod and move on from that worker? The individual's work is not easily removed because he did all of our icons, did a lot of the armor work, um, and so replacing that would be another year's worth of work. So at the current status, we're not sure if we will remove his work. We've removed all of his self-inserts and all of the pieces of content that he added about himself. But at the current stage, we are not removing his content that he's done, such as icons and armors outright. What exactly do you mean by self-inserts? Uh, he had a skunk plushie that he added in an obscure interior the quest reward. A skunk plushie? Yes. W why? What is that? What does that mean? I it was literally just like a little skunk plushy avatar. Mm. And it gave you luck. It gave you plus one luck. Yep. Okay. Um, did all the teammates have uh, self inserts? No. Okay. In fact, no one else did. So this skunk guy was the only person to have a self insert? Yes, we have development characters in the development room, of course, but he was the only one to have a self-insert outside of the cordoned off development room. Okay. So, so this person did all of the Pip-Boy, like, Vault Boy icons for the unique items in the game. Yes, all and of them. If, off the top of your head, how many... How many of those are there in the game, uniquely made? There is over about 900. Wow. Okay. Yep. However, uh, I will say that one of the things that people continually push forward to the mod is the idea that there was pedophilic content already existing within the mod's quest lines. Is that true? No. Why are people saying that? People have developed this strange notion that the content that we've produced and the characters that are involved in these quest lines are underage, except having gone through the entire mod, I believe the only sort of content that I've been seen brought up is America, and she is not underage. Um, and the only other character that I could speak of that is, I believe, 17, involved in anything at all. Now, why so, would yeah. you make a character 17 to begin with? Why not make them 19 or 20? Just to, Because just to... The, the idea was never to think about their age. It was... The content wasn't based around them being... A specific age it was just based around them being teenagers in the town going around doing uh, just random odds and ends okay and this this america character she's 18 um i'm seeing people in the chat say that she's quote unquote recently 18 what does what does that mean we added a note expressing that America had turned 18 because we wanted to alleviate some of the potential concern that she was underage. However, it's seemingly backfired quite horrendously, uh, if I might say, um, and sort of made it sound like she's not 18, but she is. Um, and we only added that note because we were worried that people would get the wrong idea. Um, and clearly that's certainly been taken the wrong way. 
Okay. Um, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, another thing that's being brought up quite a bit is that the idea of her being 18 was actually added much later in development after the America as a character was, was already created. Was she inceptualized, like, con uh, was she conceived as a character as an underaged person? She was conceived as a character that didn't really have a specific age. When we were writing her, we weren't thinking of her as some specific age. Um, mm. For most of the development time, she was sort of slated as just a, a teenager of some older age. Um, and we only wrote the notes later in development to sort of uh, alleviate some of our concerns that she'd be taken as underage, but it was never written as an underage character. Okay. All right. Um, so we're going to take one of the questions that have been sent in through email. Um, I'm seeing we have a donation here uh, from TK's Mantis asking a uh, great question. Why would he be worried if there was nothing to worry about? I'm not sure what the context of that question is supposed to be I'm hinting towards. Um, I can repeat the question for you again if you need. I think I get what he means. I'm going to read that um, one more time. Why would he yeah. be worried if there was nothing to be worried about? I will say, uh, kind of a poorly worded question as I'm having a hard time following it, but if you could try and fill me in on that, that'd be great. I think he's asking why did we worry to add a note at all if it was going to be oh, okay. a concern at all. Um, and I couldn't answer for you personally. I think that's a question that Odin would have to answer. He wrote the character. Um, who is Odin? He's the other writer on the team, one of three major writers. So there are three major writers on the team. Could you walk me through the three, please? Yes, so you've got Devil Switch, who wrote the NCR main quest. You've got uh, Nazo, who wrote uh, the Legion main quest and most of the side content. And you've got Odin, who wrote the Crusaders and a lot of the other side quest content. And this uh, content that is being perceived as problematic was written by Odin. Uh, yes. So Odin wrote America. Did Odin write the um, foot fetish stuff? Yeah, he wrote all the companion dialogue for America. Okay, could you talk a bit about this uh, foot fetish stuff that I keep seeing so much about? Can you give some context to it, please? Yeah. So people have taken a singular line in which America uh, complains about her smelly boots at the end of a day and smelly feet at the end of the day and somehow construed that into us being foot fetishes which is okay so i have the line here i'll read yeah um quote i'm dreading taking off my boots tonight after the running around we've been doing phew my feet will probably put rotting fish to shame um so this is the line that um This is the line that people seem to have issue with. Yeah. Okay. Um, and that has to do with... So, okay. I may just be a bit of a, of a virgin ears here. I'm not that well-versed in uh, feet fetishistic uh, behavior and tendencies, but how exactly can this be taken that way? Uh... I have, I don't know, maybe by the mere mention of feet, um, but it was never written as any sort of fetishistic line. Are you positive about that? Yes. Yeah, I am positive. It's such a, okay. it's such an off the cuff, just sort of random comment anyway, that it would, it was never written as such a line. Okay. Do you think I could get Odin on the record saying something like that? Is Odin online? Uh, I don't think he's online at the moment. Most of the development team is sort of... 
Yeah, as as you would expect, given the, well, the fuck current circumstances. Moment. Yep. Yeah. So I've actually been seeing quite a bit about how uh, the Enclave uh, doesn't have rep representation within the mod. Um, could we? Uh, could you speak a bit to the, the this this uh, fairly significant outcry about specific uh, speaking specific? I keep saying specifically a lot. The Enclave, uh, if you could please. Yes. So. The reality is we didn't make the Enclave questline because we didn't really have a big enough team to take on a fourth questline. Nazo, Odin, the Devils already were working on their own questlines and to add a fourth questline for the Enclave would have been a significant chunk of work that we didn't really have the people or the resources for. Uh, and the Enclave that we have present in the frontier isn't exactly the most friendly joinable faction to begin with. Um, and I think a lot of this, the outcry for for the uh, the Enclave has come from a perhaps poorly timed joke that we made on one of our first live streams, um, calling the Enclave a one-dimensional uh, fascist faction uh, and a fascist power fantasy. Uh, people have sort of taken that joke and uh, assumed that was the reason that we haven't added the Enclave questline. It's not. The reason we didn't add an Enclave questline is because we just didn't have the time, resources, or the motivation to make one. So there was a joke made about the Enclave being a fascist dictatorship uh, power fantasy. That is legitimate. That did happen. Yeah, that happened on the first stream that we did. Um, sort when of was a, this stream? Off, this was on the first day of release. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, now, you state that this uh, joke was, was, was poorly timed. Why do you say that? Uh, it was poorly timed, poorly thought out, because we were already talking about um, making comparisons between Trump's su Enclave supporters. Um, and so that added a bit of unnecessary fuel to the fire that we really shouldn't have done and we we do regret making those jokes because they have unfortunately done a pretty significant um well you, you know it, it, it is yeah. your project you know yeah regardless of if a call was made and if that call should have been made or not this is still the team's project so if there is a message that the team wants to push forward they have every right to do so same you know flip side of that coin is people are able to take that and interpret that in any way they want and it seems as if uh, a lot of people did not appreciate uh, that joke i am not entirely familiar with just how the fallout um audience the greater fallout audience falls uh on the political compass however it seems as if at least the people who have taken offense to that joke may fall more on the right side of at least the american political spectrum now again um i would rather see legitimate conversation on this other than uh, I'm seeing just like a bunch of all caps enclave over and over again. It's kind of difficult to be able to properly understand where you're coming from with this uh, when it's all just God bless the enclave over and over again. Now, the enclave has existed since was it Fallout One even, right? Yeah. Like, was uh, the depiction of the enclave in the frontier inspired by any previous? Um, depiction of the enclave in previous games um that's a good question because i'm not 100 percent sure uh because we didn't have a lot of discussions with devil's wish over what the enclave would be because he I'm, sort I'm of sorry, worked, i'm sorry who is devil's wish um, who is devil's uh, the wish? creator of the ncr main quest and he's the one who forced uh first brought the enclave into the mod can we speak to devil's wish uh, no, no, he, he's, uh, sort of removed himself from the development team 
uh, a while ago due to stress. Oh, Fallout 2. Fallout 2. The Enclave is from Fallout 2. Okay. Now, I know the Enclave the most from um, Fallout uh, 3. Uh, and the Enclave in Fallout 3 seem to have been uh, poorly written uh, due to how everyone seems to, you know, uh, view the Enclave in a specific way. Um, now, in... If, if, I, I must just be way too stupid for this, uh, but the undertones of, of different political ideologies that exist within different uh, uh, factions within the Fallout franchise uh, definitely fly over my own head. Um, so I would like to know your opinion. Uh, the main factions within the Frontier specifically, the NCR, the Crusaders, the Legion, the Enclave, is there anyone else that I'm missing? Uh... Legion, NCR, Crusaders, uh, Scavs, uh, those are the main sort of four factions, or okay. four or five factions, rather. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, like, where would you place these different factions on the political compass in the greater Fallout universe, then? Um... I don't know if that's a question that I could comfortably answer because I am not 100%. I'm not one of those people who's super sort of set down on the law. So, like, I could probably comfortably place the Crusaders just knowing the content outright. Mm. Um, well, the Crusaders sort of are Mormon, aren't they? Yeah, so sort of somewhat left of the spectrum, mm -hmm. um, if you can call that. The NCR uh, and the Legion. See, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know where to start placing them, to be honest, because I'm not. I'm not American, so I don't follow that side of American politics so sure. uh, adversely. So the left and right debate is a little. Okay, because uh, you know, like in Fallout Two, you can become the best porn star in the entire wasteland, and that's one of my favorite quests in that game. Um, uh, this one says you worked with zoo for seven years how did you not find this out come on now you are yeah people are massively misconstruing how many years we worked with zoo in fact we worked with zoo for less than three okay yeah the only people that i've actively actually i joined the team back in 2015 so i wasn't technically present for the full seven years um but regardless Zoo, um, Zoo was only on the team for a few years, and as I said, he was a not exactly the most open people. And we're not doing back uh, background checks on people. We don't have, sure, you know, sure. That's not something we do. Well, this is look. Um, in an attempt to be, here's another question from Jazu. Quote: Talk about the death claw sex. No vanilla Fallout game has come close to that, or the feet, or the 17-year-old crap, end quote. Thomas, you have the floor. Yeah. So the Deathclaw sex scene was written as an overtly ridiculous wild wasteland. Um, and for anyone that's actually gone and seen it, it had you had like 13 different dialogue options, and they were all completely and utterly ridiculous. Um just to sort of, you know, it was funny. We thought it was hilarious, mm. um, but it wasn't properly set up as a wild wasteland because the person who was working on it never properly finished it. So we've disabled it in one of the recent hot fixes um, because it just, it wasn't finished. So there was no point leaving it in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, was this always a wild wasteland thing? It was okay. always written, uh, always written as a wild wasteland. When we explicitly discussed it, to, like what exactly was this scene, and 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 why was it added into the game to begin with? It was it was always just something that you found funny. It was always something that we as a team just thought was hilarious. Okay. Um. How how overt or explicit was this scene? 
Uh, if people are thinking that you literally fuck the Deathclaw, no. It was set up to just be a fade to black. You wake up, Deathclaw gone. Okay. Um, from Fallout London. Is this another Fallout project? Let me see. Yes. Fallout London, DLC-sized Fallout 4 mod. Okay. Quote, uh, throughout production, the lead is aware of the content. At what point did you think some was some of that was acceptable? Were you unaware or did you deem it okay? A lot of the content that people are... Um, sorry, I'm just reading through some of the other comments that are... Try, try not to... Uh, I'm focusing on the yeah. comments, yeah. Yeah. Um... We were aware of the content that existed. However, we... Um... I'm not sure of a good way to answer that. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, we are aware of the content. Um, but we didn't believe it was... We didn't believe it was as bad as people are making it out to be, which is why we didn't explicitly remove it. Um, so what you're saying here is that the team's perception on the content is far more uh, relaxed than the... Uh, vocal communities response to that content the vocal uh, communities perception or interpretation of that content yeah okay uh, what about the allegations that multiple people had posted zoo's quote-unquote material in the discord over the course of his time working on the frontier and the mods removed these posts over and over is that true that's, no that's not true our mod team over the years has been extremely small and for a lot of the uh for a lot of the development it was actually made up of devs just spending their time um sort of helping with uh the moderation because it just wasn't a big deal back then uh in terms of sort of server size uh, we had a lot uh a very small uh sort of server at the time so it was it, it wasn't a big deal but no at no point have we removed any of Zoo's uh, allegations or um, anything related to that. And in fact, if we had been informed about that years ago, he never would have been on the team to begin with or we would have removed him outright years ago. Okay. Um, I think I'm caught up on the comments here. I'm going to go to the emails. We're going to start on the first email I got and, and go in chronological order. This one was sent by Plushman. Uh, what does the Frontier team think of the negative comments they have got since the mod was released, specifically talking about the content in the mod? Um, well, there's always room for critique and criticism, of course. Um, but a lot of the a lot of the comments we've been getting are a pr pretty pretty rough pretty nasty um now i will say that throughout this entire interview almost everything that you have said tom has been met with uh all caps liar over and over and over and over again um now that's quite uh, a tall accusation to make against someone who has uh, publicly come out and attempted to give uh, an honest interview. At least I assume it's an honest interview. However, if you have any you know, evidence to the contrary, please, my email is open and we can go from there. We have another question. Uh, Gray Mans. Um, you have it really rough, man. Your community is really volatile and at odds with you politically, it seems. Oh, well, okay, this isn't related. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Um, this one is from Larry. What is the story? Why is there sex slaves and bad dialogue? Is this a COD clone? Why is there a condom texture? Uh, so, sort of go through the list. There was yep. no sex slave stuff. Um... That was a massive misconstrual of... Um, what are they misunderstanding? Yeah. 
So that was specifically in relation to America's dialogue lines. Um, but she was not written to be a sex, uh, sex slave because Jesus Christ, that's egregious. Mm -hmm. She was written as a slave and I mean, shit, if you try and slave her within the start of the mods, you literally are kicked out of uh, the faction immediately. Okay. Yeah. Okay, the next question was, uh, is this a COD clone? Uh, the start of the mod could definitely be considered a COD clone. Uh, that, yeah, that's it's definitely a bit of a COD clone. Okay. Uh, why is there a condom texture? That is... That was a... I don't know. I, I, it's one of those things you don't think about after having seen it for so many years, but it was always just one of those, huh, that's kind of funny, I guess. Um, and you only see it at the NCR truck at the start of the mod. Um, oh, the truck that you ride into the frontier. Yeah. Okay. So there's a condom on the truck. Yeah, under under one of the um, duffel bags. I don't understand. Why is that problematic? I don't know. Okay, moving on. Um, do you, the Frontier Director, have any idea what post-launch support for the Frontier uh, and or what is next for the team? I don't think there's going to be anything next for the team. Mm. I really don't. I don't want to work in this community. I don't want to work on these games anymore. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, Is that it? Post-launch stuff. Um, we've already put out... Um, post-launch stuff, we've put out a lot of... Uh, I would request that uh, you stop looking it, at yes. any of these comments. I'm hearing you. Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, we put out a lot of hot fixes and fixes to a lot of the crashes, which is what we're trying to keep up with. Okay. Um, but beyond that, I don't see us doing a whole lot more. A lot of us are burnt out, um, and we were going to be working on an alternative, uh, an alternative start where you can um, travel to the frontier. Um, in a caravan you'd be dropped outside of uh, a location and you could go make your way to the faction bases from there um mm. but that's on hold right now obviously um, sure yeah okay um did the dev zoo have anything to do with the npc america no okay. no zoo did no writing for america and he didn't do any writing for the crusaders main quest Simon Simons has uh, approached this again with another thing. Um, quote, please read this. He is lying to you. The dialogue with America has you call her your, uh, again, quote, little slave girl. And she says she'll do anything for you and cries. Yes. So that was one of the lines that uh, we have made changes to. Uh, the player prompt only. Um, the line itself was fine, but we've made changes to the line and we got some feedback from it and uh, we think the changes we've made will make that a little less cringy, a little less sexual. Okay. While there's a lot of writing slash world building mistakes, I enjoyed my time with this mod. Will you stop making mods because of a few assholes? Tom, you have the floor. Uh, yes. Sorry, I should reiterate that it's, it's not because of um, it's not because of the feedback and the critique and the criticism that we've got. The reason that I won't be doing it anymore is because I've been doing this for so long that I want to move on to something else in my life. I've had enough. Um, okay, um, I'm going to have to interrupt you here. Uh, people are now repeating stalker assets over and over and over yes. and over again. Can you explain, please? Stalker assets are freely available uh, to use in whatever content you want. They have an open uh, use license, which is why we use them for building assets. Um, and we've done significant modifications to the 
stalker assets as well. I am well aware of the stalker assets being freely available to be used. That is also, yeah. that is that is true. Okay, another uh, question here. Quote, were you worried about people overhyping it too much? Like some did. Also thought the mod mm. was quite impressive technically. Um, we were worried about it. Um, which is why I sort of made every opportunity to just sort of say, hey, uh, you know, keep your expectations as sort of um, as sort of minimal as possible. Um, we think we've done a really good job, but we don't want to overhype it. Our, <laughs> we're not we're not a triple. Oh, I apologize. I was muted. I was muted there. Yep. I've been, um, I was <laughs> muted. Yeah. OK, sorry about that. Whoops. Um, I'm going to have to go back. So I had received a question about Valve that I have to skip for right now. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm trying to mute myself uh, so that, you know, I don't make noise while uh, Tom is attempting to speak. Uh, we have a question here from Hugh. Uh, was wondering if I could ask more info about the Zoo the Skunk situation more specifically. What was the team's vetting process for developers? Again, sorry about that. Tom, you have the floor. So the vetting process is not exactly any sort of stringent thing because at the end of the day, we're not a AAA studio with a human resources, a legal department. Uh, we were just a bunch of community developers. We sort of reach out to people and be like, hey, like your mods look good. Um, and, you know, unless they're like straight up involved in horrible things amongst the community, then we invite them on. It's it's really as simple as that. There's no there's no, you know, going through people's backgrounds and, you know, finding out what, what they've got in their closet. Okay. Um, during the development you guys decided that slavery and emotional abuse was fine, but Enclave is bad. That is from Howard. Yeah, so we didn't We didn't explicitly say that the Enclave uh, that either of those things are connected. Um, we didn't make the Enclave questline because A, we didn't have the resources and B, we didn't have anyone who could devote the time to actively working on it. It was as I've already repeated multiple times. We have another question here from Robert uh, Bates. I feel like there are far too many things that are being misinterpreted. The feet, the slave girl stuff, the lizard people, death claw, sex scene, etc. It seems too convenient that all those are misinterpreted. Tom, your response? Um, I don't even know how to respond to that kind of comment. I really don't. I just, yeah. Misinterpretation or not, that was the content that we made. I will interject, though, that you're listing one, two, three, four things from, like, a 150-hour game. That's a lot of stuff. The, the, the game is full of this kind of stuff. And I'm sure that you're, you know, I'm sure you could find more stuff that we could, you know, be upset about down the road. Uh, I feel as if Tom is trying to, to assert the fact that... Um, I guess that's what he's saying. It wasn't the team's intention to make something uh, purposefully deviant. How would you put that into words? No, we. the idea was never to make anything purposely awful or horrible. The options for America, for example, were always written simply as um, evil role-playing choices. That's just That's just how they were written. Yeah, I would uh, like to ask your, a, a question. Um, what, in your opinion, are the most evil role-playing choices that exist in New Vegas? That's a difficult question for me to answer, not because um, I'm trying to avoid the question, but because I haven't played New Vegas in years. Oh, fair. Okay. Um, yeah, because I've been so busy on the mod, I haven't really had a proper chance to... How long have you been working on this mod? Uh, since early 2016. That was a long time ago. Okay. Uh, Todd Howard sends $5 saying, Neil. Hi, Todd. I'll talk to you later. Uh, Sherpa, whose idea was it to let you copulate with a death claw and a lizard girl, but not a vertebrate? Is that it just a bridge too far? <laughs> I 
To yeah, be honest, uh, I'm, to be honest, I'm completely uh, for having sex with a vertebrate. I mean, that'd be cool. I, I would be more interested in a sex scene with a vertebrate than a than a death claw. Death claws suck. Vertebrates fly. That's cool. <laughs> that's yeah. That's that's a fair way of putting it. All right, next question. Um, Tyler, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I understand this game has been a passion project for you guys, and I don't want to be insulting, but I do want to ask. Uh, will you guys address people's issues with the mod now that you are pulling the mod? Will you be rewriting any portions of the main quest, or at least recutting the storyline of the NCR Legion and Crusaders for a quote-unquote better experience? Will you give the Crusaders and Legion quest lines more time in the oven as a result? And will you lessen or remove the more quote-unquote sexual content? Tom, you have the floor. Uh, we've already made changes to a lot of uh, the lines that people have had issues with with regards to America's dialogue. That was one of the first things we did um, alongside Karma Gating. Um, a lot of America's uh, evil role-playing choices as they should have been. Um, no. we. The reality is the development team's kind of split at the moment um, because we're all in a pretty dark place um and we don't really want to work on this on this mod anymore we've put too much time and effort into it and now that we've sort of um gone down a pretty deep hole um we don't really see a reason to continue working on it we've pulled the mod for the time being as there are changes we need to make to people's content regarding removing it entirely um because people have requested that their content be removed um, in people response have to the People update. have requested that their content be removed. Who has requested that? Uh, I won't say who, um, but a voice actor or two has requested that they re be removed. Uh, an artist has requested that they have their content removed. Um, that's just what it is. That's a, that's a normal response to what's going on, sure. Uh, from Burger Boo, what about the straight-up ripoff, almost word for word, of the Wolfenstein New Order plot thread in the Enclave space station? I guess I should have said spoilers for the Frontier before we started this, but I mean, I guess we've all played it. Go ahead. Um, yeah, as, as it, it was, it was a ripoff. Um, but as we sort of tried to mention before, Devil's Wish was someone who liked to make stuff on his own time and like to make stuff without sort of uh outside oversight so he was the one um that um again for those that are unaware movie. um who was devil's wish uh he was the creator of the ncr main quest all right we have another message here from todd howard uh todd howard denounces this trash fan fiction um and if you buy another copy of Skyrim, I may forgive you. Todd, you know I've bought, like, way too many of them. Oh, wow. I'm not going to read this comment because of the name. In your own words, why didn't you include an enclave as a faction when they were a fascist power fantasy? Now you're blaming it on a lack of resources. If it was a resource issue, why bring in real-life politics? Go ahead. We brought in real life politics as a very, very stupid joke on the first live stream. If we were actively going to make that the reason that we didn't add in the Enclave quest line, we wouldn't have mentioned it at all. We've been saying for years, years and years and years, there won't be any Enclave quest line. This isn't something new. Okay. We've had it. We've had it in our uh, frequently asked questions um, for ages as well. Nice dodging a legit twenty dollar question. Understand that it's not the existence of certain things that's the problem. It's how poorly they're executed. Okay. Well, I read the question. Moving on. Your mod is hunt down the Freeman too. You stole assets, ripped off better games, and put some really immature, tasteless, and X-rated things. Shame. Okay. Uh, it's not a question. Uh, why did you think? that so many people can't grasp that Fallout has always been a commentary on politics. I agree with that one. Fallout's always been a political game, but go ahead. I don't know what to say to that. Uh, I yeah. feel like anything I would say would uh, 
get me more blowback, so I'm not going to comment on the politics. Okay. Um... Yeah. What are your thoughts on Sneed posting? That's from Jonathan. Uh, I don't have an opinion. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I still don't under. So if someone could email uh, me what it is, I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you, Todd. Why did the dev? Why didn't the devs add more iconic? No. Uh, Sneed is a joke, but it's also a reference to Sneed's feed and seed shop in Frontier, which has a sketch quest line. Tom, what is I, 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 Sneed's feed and seed shop? Let's go over it. Uh, is that the place it's called? I'm trying to find where that question is so I can actually uh Sneed's Feed and Seed which has a I have to find this interior hold on um also Finn uh you sent me some images they are incredibly low res on my end could you give me a Dropbox link for the raw images because they've been compressed to hell and I can't actually read the text on them but I appreciate you reaching out uh and trying to clear this up uh, uh, I don't, I cannot find a, um, right. Um, moving on. This one is from Gemini angel. So what's up with the unity ballistic models? Did you not have enough? Uh, the to make yeah. What is this? Uh, that is the, the model for the trochle. Um, that was added as a creature years and years and years ago. Um, why it was added, I don't know. Um, yeah, it was it was added as an extra creature um, just to fill out the world space, I believe. Let's talk a bit more about. It's called the the the, the trochle. Yeah. For those unaware, um, because I'm sure not everybody has had the time to be able to play the Frontier in its entirety, who are they? Uh, Trochle are a breed of FEV mutated, uh, basically snakes slash lizard people that have uh, gotten the ability to um, to speak. And you can have sex with one of them. One of them, yes. Okay. Uh, how is the team's morale after receiving so uh, much flack over minor things? Well, pedophilia is not a minor thing, but how is the team morale? It's really terrible, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, we're all at the point where we don't want to do this anymore. We've had enough. That's, that's pretty much the answer to that question. This mod seems to have a lot of very sudden tonal shifts between the main quest lines. What is the process of deciding the flow between quests and stories? Um, so that's probably the biggest issue we've had over the years with regards to story and sort of writing consistency. Um, the main quests were all very separate from each other, especially the NCR. Um, it ended up being a lot of, um, uh, you even mentioned this uh, in your video, there is a very, very serious tonal shift uh, coming out of the NCR going into the general uh, world exploration, which is yeah. a bit more lenient in terms of its um, tonal shifts. But you go from incredibly dark moments in the NCR to sort of ridiculous moments outside of it. From uh, Leper, I know I am spending cash to say this, but you guys had one fucking job. Making a video game is not a singular job, man. Uh, there's a lot of different moving parts in that one. We're going to move on. Yeah. People are posting a lot about the USS Liberty. What is that? Um, Go ahead. I don't actually know. Apparently, it's a memorial to... Oh, it's a memorial to... 
uh, I think it's a memorial to. Oh, sorry, I'm not going to speak out without saying, uh, without just at least looking what it is first. Mm -hmm. But apparently we um, removed it, but we didn't add it in the first place. Um, so that is something I don't even know how to respond to because we didn't have it in the first place. Um, I need to do them quickly or we'll lose them. Hi, TG Spy. I'm enjoying the mod so far, but I have a few questions about one of the NPCs. Uh, can you tell me about Bane? Oh, okay. <laughs> Could you elaborate on the inspiration behind the JQ questline, particularly the merchants? JQ. Um... I'm actually not sure. Okay, um, we're going to move on. we gotta, we yeah. got a lot here. Uh, after Hunt Down the Freeman was released, was it the dev team's goal to create a bigger joke, or was that coincidental? Uh, I shouldn't even need to warrant that question with an answer. All right, I'm just trying to read them all. Fallout 2, similar to the Frontier, was worked on piecemeal by one to two people for each area. Why do you think that one came out good while the Frontier didn't? I would say that the front did come out quite good. Okay. Uh, my message wasn't read, but I'll just summarize it here again. You should be proud of your work. In my opinion, the mod is better than Fallout 3. Thank you. All right. Are there lot. any play... Are there? So, yeah. uh, thank you. Are there any plans to release the scripted content like Cars as standalone? Also, why is the Interceptor cut from the game? Uh, so the Interceptor isn't cut. It's actually found in a garage. Uh, and we were planning on releasing the scripted cars as a framework. Um, however, right now, I'm not sure what the current status of that will be. Tyler, it was severely disappointing that you didn't recognize the JQ message was an anti-Semitic joke. Oh, I apologize for not being able to identify that. We are dealing with uh, some very problematic individuals in this chat right now, so I didn't mean anything anti-Semitic, anti-Semantic. What? I didn't mean any offense uh, by reading that, that question out, um, and I apologize. Uh, okay. Can you ask why there is such a heavy Lover's Lab community in the mod team? Uh, there isn't. Okay, well then That's... where did it come from? Where is, where, uh, why are they saying this? Uh, because they see... Um, they see sexual content and immediately think Lover's Lab. Um, mm. However, I can assure you that Lover's Lab is not involved in the Frontier at all. What is Lover's Lab? Uh, Lover's Lab is a site that is very heavily heavily focused on the adult content side of modding for the Bethesda games and there is a lot of really sexual content on there oh okay y'all gonna remove the fetish shit now and maybe make your mod decent we've made changes that we think are appropriate but we're not we're saying the mod needs to be changed because it's bad is not feedback or criticism. It doesn't help us at all. Why would you accuse the Enclave of being fascist? As a follow-up question, what is really so bad about fascism anyways? Tom, you have the floor. Is this a question that I want to ask? Is this, an an is this something I want to answer? Because... As we've sort of seen what happens when you speak about political topics, yeah, you don't really get a great yeah. um, response to it. Uh, people are asking, will the mod be unhidden on Nexus? It will at some point, but we've got some work to do to remove content. Okay. Uh, Fallout Entropy uh, states, quote, you muted my man... Uh, I'm not going to read his name because you guys have already tricked me a few times on Discord for calling you guys out for uh, protecting a pedo. Uh, your art lead deemed quote-unquote art materials with pedophilia in as quote only drawings. I don't speak for individual team members. The team's response and the team's position on this is extremely crystal clear 
that it's beyond fucking degeneracy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Blacklight says, I'm going to pay you $5 to never make another mod again. That's $5, Tom. That's that's some good money. Ooh. Five bucks. I could retire on that. Five bucks. Just don't ever, don't ever do another creative work in the Fallout modding community ever again. You're not oh, well, that's, um, you're not allowed here. <laughs> I don't even think I need the motivation at this point. Yeah. Uh, so what are your thoughts on people focusing on enslaving America, but completely disregarding the scene where AJ is reduced to a sex slave? It feels like people are picking and choosing what to be outraged about. Also, thanks for the awesome mod. Your work is amazing. I think people's outrage comes from the fact that she was un like under an age that people thought was appropriate for that kind of content. And again, how old is um, she? 18. She was 18. We've said, yeah, she was 18. Yep. Uh, and we've sort of bumped her age up to 21 uh, in a recent hotfix because her age isn't mentioned anywhere other than that singular note. Um, so for a general audience, we've decided to um, sort of bump bump the, uh, the age up a little bit. All right. When is the sex out compatibility patch coming out? That's from Cole. Uh, that will come out December 2077. And what is sex out? Oh boy. Somehow I, I'm i going to... How do you not know about this? How do I not know about what sex out is? Yeah. Okay, I'll just Google it. That's fine. <laughs> it's basically out. a... It's basically like an animated sex thing. Okay. For New Vegas. Oh, lovers... Lo oh! Yeah. <laughs> Okay. So no compatibility patch. No compatibility patch. Oh, well, that's too bad. Why does the first real NCR mission try and make us kill prisoner of wars when Blackthorn deserted partially because of bad orders? That's mostly the point of the entire NCR main quest, yeah. Um, the point is that Blackthorn is a massive hypocrite. Um, and that he is doing things specifically for his own sort of self-righteous behavior. Um, and also the executing war criminals uh, at the start of chapter one was written a very, very long time ago, um, back before um, we sort of had a huge grasp on what the overall story would be. I swear this is the most toxic chat I've ever seen. You're new to this place. There's also a few assets that we've, uh, that we were told were stolen assets. There was a Doom 3 Pentagon uh, texture that was stolen. We've removed that. We removed that in one of the very early hotfixes um, as it was added by, I believe, Devil's Wish years ago. Um, and Fallout 3 assets as well were removed. Uh, there was some trenches that were being used that weren't in vanilla. We've entirely remade all of those, uh, and we ask if people do find those kind of assets that you remove them, um, because we don't really need to have them there, and we're happy to replace them. Okay. The problem with the American, the America fiasco, is that you made a point of showing a woman broken by sexual slavery, and then have the courier actively engage in the same behavior to an emotionally unstable girl. Yeah, that's that's the that was the, that was the point of having the evil dialogue uh, options is that you could take advantage of her state and be a complete and utter evil piece of shit. Mm. That was the point. Okay, Captain Bucket just wanted to say I enjoyed my time on the frontier and talking with the devs on the community members on the Discord. You're a legend, TG Spy, and I look forward to seeing what you do in the future. Much love. Thank you. It means a lot. Why is playing as the Legion okay, but not the Sneed Clave? The amount of cope is hilarious. Pee pee poo poo. Uh. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know how to respond to that. Pee pee poo poo, though. Pee pee poo poo. Oh shit, Mandalore's here. What's up, man? Big fan. 
Mandalore Gaming said, I legitimately thought the lizard screenshots were from a Lover's Lab thing or a joke. But, uh, uh, but this is way, way more than people were saying. I'm going to have nightmares about the skunk. Mandalore, love your stuff. Tell Joe I said hi. Ah, uh, maybe there are more reasons other than fascism why people are mad at you. Did you already forget that you hired a pedophile and put weirdo sex stuff into a Fallout mod? Go ahead, call this bait too. There are perfectly valid reasons to be mad at us and to have criticism and to have real concerns. And that I totally agree with. Mm. Um, as I've said already, we are in no way, shape or form in any possible reason uh, suggesting that Zoo the Skunk's actions were even close to um, anything other than reprehensible because they are reprehensible, um, which is why we removed him overnight, um, or actually within the last few hours while I was sleeping. Um, there are valid reasons to be mad at the mod, um, absolutely. But we've, I believe we've addressed a lot of the issues that people have had, especially with regards to America's dialogue. Uh, why Portland of all places? As I respect the mod as a community project, uh, they probably should have been vetting their volunteers. I completely agree. Uh, P.S. The email in the video description is wrong. Yes, I'm aware. I'm checking both email accounts right now. Why yeah. Portland of um, all places? So Portland was just chosen because it hadn't been explored too much in the, um, it hasn't been explored too much in the Fallout canon. And the exact reason for why we chose it, I will not know. That was the, um, um, yeah, that was the, um, yeah, why, why we chose Portland is unknown but we chose portland and that's what we've done okay yeah. so i just got a i got a message from one of the one of the level designers um for the reason we chose portland so we were looking for a town with a river in the middle of it why just because okay yeah I picked portland because portland has a river Saying that's the point to the hypocrisy of America, AJ sends the message that to the topic of rape was purely used for shock value and that it's just a fun, evil option for you to include. Sickening. That is from Dirty Blue. It's not a fun option. It is an evil option. It was always written as an evil option. That's, yeah, that's, that's what it is. It was an evil option. Thomas, did you ever expect to have to deal with so much shit like this, spending years of your life making something, only to have fans act like monkeys and scream at every little thing that is wrong? To an extent, yeah. Um, I, But a lot of the concern that I thought would happen would be for things that sort of did happen, but also completely uh, things that were completely uh, outside of what I thought would happen. So I knew the NCR would get flack. Mm -hmm. That I did know. That I was uh, that I was totally aware was going to happen. I was aware of that playing I, the game early. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which is why we've made so many balance changes to it over the last couple weeks and months. Um, we thought the music would get a bit of flack. I thought the music what? would get flack. Yeah. Why? Um, I uh, just from how long I've been spent, uh, how long I've spent on the mods. Um, I thought, oh, the music's kind of tearing into me now. I've kind of had enough. But it seems like people have enjoyed it. But I did not expect the the level of hatred we've gotten. For the music? Uh, no, just in general. Oh, I like the music quite a bit. Uh, here's an email. Greetings. I'm watching the interview at the moment. I think that despite all the backlash, the devs do not deserve being harassed in their own Discord, uh, which they were just forced to lock down after it was raided by fans of TK Mantis through his Discord. Parentheses. They even sent invite links and are now in the VC there. And parentheses. 4chan is also in on this too. The Frontier is a hot topic on their board. Their actions are harassments and against Discord's terms of service. 
Can you at least make this known? Thank you for keeping us informed. Some of the raiders from TK's Discord are linked above, and they have been very vulgar, racist, and harassed the devs for no reason or have even played the mod. A question for the developers. Uh, do you genuinely think all the efforts uh, were worth it after the unwanted and unwarranted harassment being received that isn't in any way direct criticism of the mod's gameplay and story? Would you change anything? And I have some attachments of uh, the stuff in... Okay, go ahead. Um, that was a direct a quote little... from a person that has a name I cannot pronounce because it's written in an yep. alphabet that I can't read. Cool. Uh, so there are plenty of things we would change, especially with reg uh, relation to the NCR main quest. Um, and was it worth it? I don't know. The hate and the vitriol has been detrimental to every single one of the team members, mm -hmm. uh, mental health. Um, and we've got people leaving left, right and center because A, they don't want to be involved with the controversy anymore uh, because they're getting... Um, and we've got people leaving left, right, and center because A, they don't want to be involved with the controversy anymore uh, because they're getting um, because they're getting terrible messages or um, they're just completely and utterly uh, burnt out. Okay. Uh, TK Mantis with the five uh, quote. I had nothing to do with any raids on any discords. It is against my server rules. I have no reason to be blamed for that. Okay, TK, that's fine. From Human. Why is there an overly sexual side quest with the super mutant named Bane? Why is there a condom underneath Bane's bed? Sorry, I'm actually looking for this. <laughs> You're looking for the condom underneath Bane's bed? No, there is, there's no one named Bane in our mod. Oh, is this another bait to get me to say something bad? Or is that like from The Dark Knight Rises? Yeah, um, there is, there's no one, there's no one called Bane in our mod. He wears the mask. There's a character in the mod named Chuck that wants to suck and fuck. Is this true? Bait. Oh, okay. Um, that's the best bait today. Okay. Um, I'm seeing someone reference uh, the best New Vegas mod is the pregnancy mod. I didn't know there was a pregnancy mod. Uh, Tom, do you know much about this pregnancy mod? That's a lover's lab mod. You can get pregnant? Yes. Can you have birth? Can you give birth to a child that can then be like a companion? That I don't know because I've never used it, but I know of its of its existence, and I Wouldn't know that. Would it that's... be cool to like? You have to like raise a child. You have to find food, and you gotta, you know, make sure they don't get sick. And All right, I'm getting off topic. I'm sorry. Uh, why do vehicle-based enemies keep running over glowing-based enemies? That's just because the AI is ridiculously stupid. Um, not much we could do with that, unfortunately. Hi, Tyler. Enjoying the stream. Would you be able to ask Tom if all of the Easter egg inserts, like the Metal Gear Solid and other uh, Vertibirds seen completely lifted from other games, Wolfenstein Day 1, did the dev team not think they were a bit cringy? I'm sure they were, but they were there regardless. Mm. Okay, hey, just to let you know, the Frontier Wiki page has also been raided and mass changed. Right, people keep saying I'm going to cry during the stream. No, I'm going to cry after the stream. Duh. Tyler, what do you think of my cat? Oh, it's, a, it's a cat. Love your content. I'm glad. Do you want to see the cat? Do you want me to send you the cat? I'll send you the cat. You can comment on the cat. Uh, what makes a mod like this take seven years, where other mods of a similar size have taken fewer to release? The reality is most of the development time has been in the last three years. Um, the first couple years of development were very, very slow. Um, and it's only since 2017-ish uh, that we 
have sort of started to really put the pedal to the metal, so to speak. Why do you think... Okay, all caps, by the way. This is from Josh. Why, I'll just... Why do you think that the Enclave are Trump supporters? If Trump was in charge of the Enclave, they would have won! Bait? <laughs> I don't have a response to that. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm going to end it here. It's been about three hours. We've asked hundreds of questions. I appreciate um, everybody that's been uh, listening to us, asking questions. I hope uh, I hope that uh, I was able to provide a platform to allow your questions to be heard by the director of Fallout the Frontier. Tom, I appreciate your time. Thank you very much for sitting down with me this evening and talking about Thank your you. game. Uh, anyways, I'm Tyler McVicker. Thank you very much for watching. And um, I hope you guys stay safe and have a good evening. I'll talk to you all later. Adios.